Welcome everybody to Jordan's Film Quest. Today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different, but yet rather interesting. Try saying that ten times fast. But anyway, I'm here at the Ohio State Fair at the Laos Building. Today they have the Columbus, Ohio Toy and Game Show going on. I'm here today because I'm looking for some old Terminator toys, because obviously I collect Terminator stuff. And it is a giant showroom floor where people set up booths, tables, and they bring all kinds of old toys that they are selling or possibly trading that you can buy. And we're gonna go in today and take a look. And it, I know it's not film related, but technically it is film related because there's a ton of movie toys here. And I'm really excited to see if I can find anything. And uh, maybe along the way you'll uh, see some old toys that maybe you had when you were younger. So we're gonna go in, take a look, and check out the Columbus, Ohio Toy and Game Show 2022. Let's do this. Welcome to the Ohio State Fairgrounds here in Columbus, Ohio. We're gonna head in, see what kind of toys we got going on. As we're making our way up to the building here, see a giant cardinal. How cool is that? Just outside of the Lausch building here at the Ohio State Fair, this is the entrance. And we're going to go in and see what kind of cool stuff they got going on. And out here to the right, they have Marshmallow Man from Ghostbusters with a giant sign that says, Who are you going to call? They were supposed to have the Ecto car here, but I don't see it anywhere. Huh. Let's head inside and see what's going on. We have a lot to check out, so we're going to come back to this booth later, even though that might not be there, but I can only hope that it is. A lot of old Iron Man, X-Men figures here. Are you hungry? Batman, I probably had some of this stuff. Some Hot Wheels. Rows and rows of Hot Wheel cars here. Multiple tables. sections over here that people can interact with. Lots of stuff over this way. Food line. Usually every year they have some celebrities here. Last year they had Sergeant Slaughter. This year they have Brutus the Barber Beefcake and Greg Valentine. 
right over there in that far booth. Uh, looks like some people from maybe the Mandalorian. I'm not sure. This booth right here, you can get photos, the photo op area with multiple statues. We got Rocket and Groot, one of the um, egg things here from Alien, Batman and Harley, Deadpool over there, and some things from Star Wars back there. And of course, Gremlins right here. If you're a Star Wars fan, this is the place to be. Anything you think of, they probably have it. There's tons and tons of booths that have nothing but Star Wars stuff. Gumby here, still have mine from when I was little. Godzilla stuff here. Got the new stuff, the old stuff. Here we go, some more old toys. Terminator figures here. I don't have that one, but I do have this one and this one. I don't have that one. Something you don't see every day when I used to have this. Oh, wow. It's okay. That makes sense. It's signed by Al Pacino. Yet. Al P yeah. Wow. This booth has a lot, a lot of old stuff. Lunch boxes. Some cars. <laughs> Freddy up there. I'm loving this small little horror section right here of the classic monsters. Yeah, baby, yeah. Look like butterfly, sting like a bee. Yeah, dude, it's like they still don't. Buzz like here. Dracula. I actually still have these. It's the whole set. Batman. Robin, that girl, my personal favorite, Mr. Freeze. Saved by the Bell game, never seen anything like that. Rocky fans. Yo, Adrian. Quite the collection here. Turtles, one of my favorite movies. Big show figure, I used to have that actually. Let's go run the Rocky steps. Until next time, we will see you at the next one.
Here's just a few things I picked up today from today's haul. This little Lego Terminator. I didn't know it came with the bike until the guy told me that if you buy one, it actually comes with the bike as well. Had to pick that up. And here we have a Terminator 2 Judgment Day endoskeleton. Couldn't resist on picking that up for only 10 bucks. Well worth it. And this right here is pretty sweet. I won't tell you how much I spent on it, but it actually talks. Brand new, still in the box. Still wrapped, as you can see, around the neck. Everything is still intact, which is really cool. And this one, one that I have been missing for a while from my collection that I've been really wanting, the exploded T-1000. Although the plastic is a little discolored, which is okay because it's, what, 30 years old? I do have the T-800 as well. So I'm gonna add that to the collection. And then of course, this one as well. Still wrapped in the box as well. So yeah, I'm not a Terminator fan or anything. All right, everybody, I hope you had a good time following me around today at the Columbus, Ohio Toy and Game Show. Was rather interesting to see. I was really surprised that there's a couple people cosplaying and they were supposed to have the Ecto one here from Ghostbusters which I still can't find even though I'm getting ready to leave and but it's, it's cool though um, yeah uh, this is my second time here at the uh, Columbus Toy and Game Show I definitely recommend it if you're into like old figures old board games or old stuff like that but uh, yeah I hope you guys had a good time and uh, I will see you guys next time George Film Quest